The amount of garbage G produced by a city with population P is given by G is equal to a function of P. G is measured in tons per week and P is measured in thousands of people. All right, letter A, it says the town of Tola has a population of 40,000 and produces 13 tons of garbage each week. Express this information in terms of the function F. All right, so we first have to you know, understand what these terms mean and how to reinterpret uh, the given information, all right? So they, they told us a simple function. They said that G is equal to a function of P. So what we really need to do, and let me put this kind of front and center, actually. What we really need to do is understand how to interpret this functional notation in a few richer contexts, okay? Now what I have down here is I have a couple of tips and how to do this, all right? So at the bare minimum, I can state this as G is a function of P. Okay, that's fine, but what the heck is G? What the heck is P, right? I mean, it, these are just letters. So let's give it a little richer context. That's what I'm doing in part number two. So now I can say that G, since it represents the amount of garbage, all right, I can say now that the amount that the amount of garbage is a function of population. Okay, that sounds great. And now I can even give it richer context because now I'm, that's great that this is the amount of garbage and then this is the population, but how are you measuring the amount of garbage? Is it, is it in pounds? Is it in ounces? Is it in tons? Okay, so now giving it the richest, fullest, context that we can, and that's how you want to try to interpret this, is now I can read this statement as the amount of garbage in tons per week is a function of the population in thousands of people. Okay, so we have to keep this last interpretation, number three, in mind. It's the richest interpretation, has the most detail in it, and that should help us identify what they want us to do. All right. Now let's keep that in mind. So let's look over letter A again. It says the town of Tola has a population of 40,000 people, okay? Now the first thing is I know, remember, in this function that the unit for population is not per individual, right? It's per thousand, per thousand individuals. So how many thousand individuals do you have here? Well, if you have 40,000, that means you have 40,000s of people, right? 40 units of 1,000 people, okay? So I know then that since the unit of population is in thousands, the numerical value in this formula for population must be 40, okay? Because the unit for the population is in thousands. Do not plug in 40,000 for P, because then you're saying 40,000 thousand, which would be four, 40 million now, all right? So that's a definitely a different number. So that's how to interpret the first part. And now it says produces 13 tons of garbage each week. So now remember that the G here stands for the amount of garbage in tons per week. So what did they tell us? They said 13 tons of garbage each week. So that sounds great. This one's easy, right? The number here that we can plug in for G is simply 13. Why? Because remember, G represents the amount of garbage in tons per week, and they told us that the city's producing 13 tons of garbage per week. All right? So I can simply now write this function that it looks just like this now to answer letter A. It's simply going to be 13 is equal to F of 40. And that's it, okay? Seems really odd, right? I mean, it's so simple at the end here, but the interpretation is really, really difficult. So now let's take a look at part B, all right? So now part B here, it says explain the meaning of the statement F of five is equal to two. All right, so remember, let's start with the general function again. G is a function of P. And the richer context, remember, is the amount of garbage in tons per week 
is a function of the population in thousands of people. Okay, so now if I were to look at this equation that was given, notice how th this basically is given as the reverse of this, right? Notice the function here is on the left-hand side and now this is on the right-hand side. That doesn't mean a darn thing, right? If I were to say A is equal to B, that's the same thing as saying B is equal to A, right? I can write this any which way I like. So what I'm gonna do here is just to make it consistent, I'm gonna take this uh, equation and just flip it, okay? So we have it in the same form as the uh, G function, all right? So here now, uh, we're, we are going to write two is equal to F of five. Now remember, okay, the G here, let me, let me color code this, the G here, okay, is this value in the given equation. And the P here, is this value in the given equation. That being the case, right, if, if this is G, then I know that how to interpret G is to say that this is in uh, amount of garbage in tons per week. This statement is now saying that, um, that there are two tons of garbage produced each week, right? I could say if, because I'm not really sure if, you know, this, this is by a city. I guess it might be for Tola. I don't really know, but the population changed, so it might not be. But I don't know what city it is, but it's just for a city. So two tons of garbage produced each week. I should say for a city that has how many thousands of people? That has, I don't know where that extra S came from, <laughs> that has 5,000 people. That's how to interpret that statement. Okay, this is, this is very difficult to do. That's why I'm taking a little time to, to try to develop this idea because this is such a simple formula, but there's a there's a very rich context in which you have to interpret that, and this takes practice. I got plenty more problems for you to practice, and that's important to to definitely practice and spend the time developing this skill. All right. So hopefully this problem helped. Uh, please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.